Okay, Drew Carney out and about this morning at his favorite pizza place here in Portland. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of our favorite pizza places. We're talking about Escape from New York Pizza. It's on Northwest 23rd, where today they're celebrating 40 years of business. Morning, Drew. Hey, good morning, Christine and Brenda. You are watching the hands of a legend this morning <laughs> on Sunrise. This is Phil Geffner. Phil is the man behind Escape from New York Pizza. And it is true, 40 years ago, he escaped from New York and he brought this idea with him here 3,000 miles away to open up a pizza shop in the great city of Portland and to serve pizza by the slice. Uh, good morning to you, Phil. Good morning. Before we get to the interview portion of the segment, I want to let our viewers know big things happening today. In honor of their 40th anniversary, Escape from New York is giving away a free slice of pizza and a free drink to everyone who shows up this morning All and day. this afternoon yeah, and, and night. this evening. Yeah, don't forget that. Let's be, let's be very specific here. You don't have to be a regular <laughs> customer. You can be anyone. They're not just doing it for an hour. They're doing it all day long, normal business hours. You see there on your screen, 1130 is when they open up every day, by the way. 11 p.m. is when they shut it down every day, by the way. And today, during that entire stretch, yes, they are giving away a free slice and a free small drink to all their customers. All wow. right, Phil, let's talk about 40 years of operation because you were a young man in your 20s when you opened up the shop for the first time. Hard to believe. Did you ever think in your wildest dreams that 40 years later you'd still be making the pizza and serving <laughs> it up? I didn't know what 40 years was at that point. <laughs> Pretty uh, crazy. The people who really know your business know that you first opened up uh, in downtown Portland in the Galleria. Not in the gallery, across the street from the gallery. And then about a year or so later, you opened up this second shop, the only one that still stands here all these years later. Yeah. Uh, talk about the beginnings and how did you convince people that, hey, this is the pizza that you need to be eating if you're going to eat pizza in Portland? Yeah, well, we had pizza by the slice. It was the first one. So people would come in, they go, hey, I'm not eating that pizza. There's one slice missing. I'm not going to eat a pizza with a slice missing. So it was like that. It was like a unique thing to them. They never saw something like that. So 40 years later, it's all over the place. That's pretty crazy. But people really liked it, and they still do. So it's a beautiful thing. I think a lot of people just figured pizza by the slice was around since the Stone Ages. But here in Portland, it did not exist until Phil and company showed up here 40 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit later about some of your uh, your pet peeves when it comes to pizza. But let's spend this segment about talking that? about the key ingredients. Because uh, you've got your basics here. But tell me why your sauce is the best sauce. Well, you gotta put sauce cold on the dough, otherwise it sticks to the board. So most places just use a can and they just put it on the, uh, on the pizza, they mix some herbs on it and then they put it on. We cook it all day and then we get it cold to put on. So it makes every, all, the, all the ingredients blend really well into the, uh, into the sauce and it makes it much, much better. And then the last thing I wanna ask you yeah. here, the cheese. This isn't some sort of five spice cheese blend. Tell me about your cheese. Yeah, it's a whole milk mozzarella cheese. One cheese, which is the best cheese out of all of them. You don't need five to make it better. One makes it the best. <laughs> Bottom line. You keep working this morning, Phil, because you're going to have a busy day, my friend. Again, I am. starting at 1130 this morning until <laughs> 11 o'clock tonight, this man and his crew will be busy celebrating their 40th anniversary by giving away free pizza slices all day long. Rodney, Brenda, and Christine, if you're on good behavior today, <laughs> perhaps a free slice of pizza will find its way to the studio this morning. I was going to say, Drew, that pizza better be coming back to the studio. <laughs> uh, yeah, Christine is crossing her fingers. We absolutely will be on our best behavior. Drew, Phil, thank you. Okay, we really can't argue with Drew's excuse for being out of the studio this morning because two words matter here, and that is free pizza. He is doing <laughs> it right. He's at Escape from New York Pizza today. Can't believe it, but it's celebrating its 40th anniversary. Drew, tell Phil congratulations for it, us. That's awesome. I will, Brenda, right here off the top. Brenda Braxton. Mr. Phil says congratulations on 40 years of business, 40 years of selling pizza down here on Northwest 23rd. So here we are, and he is the man. Phil Geffner is the owner of Escape from New York Pizza in Northwest Portland. We're right here on 23rd between Hoyt and Irving. I actually been coming here for 20 plus years myself, and I still don't know what two streets is between. I had to ask Phil a moment ago, what two streets are you between? Hoyt and Irving, if you're uh, keeping score at home. I will say that between, I think, Christine, Brenda, 
Rod and myself, we've got about 70 years of experience. Oh, let me show you this real quick. We're bringing up the information on today's giveaway. Sorry, guys. Uh, today, they are giving away pizza all day long, starting at 1130 this morning until 11 o'clock tonight. A slice and a small drink for every customer who comes through the door. That's the way you say thank you for 40 years of business. Uh, Philip, that's a great way to celebrate 40 years. I do want to ask you, because you've taught us a lot about pizza over the years here on the Sunrise Show. You taught us about the importance of good sauce. You've taught us that 100% whole milk mozzarella is the only cheese you need for a great pizza. I want to ask you about ranch. It's one of your pet peeves when it comes to pizza. <laughs> Why don't you like the idea of someone having ranch with their pizza? Can I ask you? Exactly, yes. You can ask me. Ranch is the worst thing on pizza. First of all, you're eating ranch. You're not eating pizza. It's an insult to the pizza. We cook this sauce for 12 hours every day, work hard. People eat pizza, they get to the crust, they eat the ranch. What do they remember? They remember the ranch. That was the pizza they ate, was ranch. And ranch could be any pizza. So it's insult to pizza. It's an insult to good pizza. So that's why ranch is bad. <laughs> and that is why you will not see ranch this morning here during this segment. Amen. But we will see a customer. A Phil customer. has a lot of longtime wow. customers. One of them is here right Look now. He stands Mark. next to me this morning. He is Daniel. Daniel is 40 years young, just like the pizza shop is 40 years young. Can I ask you, when did you start coming here and what brought you to Northwest Portland for pizza? Uh, you know, I, I grew up in Clackamas and this was the cool place to be uh, uh, in 2001 when I graduated high school and uh, I've been coming here ever since. What is it about this pizza, in your opinion, that makes it so awesome? I'd say the sauce. The sauce is the boss. This is, it's, it's my favorite. Would you do me a favor as we wrap up this segment? Would you put on those special TV glasses that cover your eyes? As you do that, I'll ask you, how many fingers am I holding up right now? Looks like two. Okay, great. You can't see anything in front of you. We're going to play a quick game called, is it pepperoni or is it cheese? Phil, would you hand me a slice of pizza, please? I'm going to hand this to Mr. Daniel. He's going to guess which slice it is using just his taste buds. I'll tell the audience at home, the correct answer is cheese. All right, you ready, Daniel? Let open know, up. Let me know when the pie's close. Oh, I will. I will. Uh, I'll hold it for you. You just open up that mouth of yours, take a big old bite, and you tell me, after you think about it, is it pepperoni or is it cheese? I'm not tasting pepperoni, so that's got to be cheese. Oh, he's a winner wow. this morning. Daniel, a longtime customer, correctly identifying the cheese pizza over the pepperoni. Let's end this segment on Phil's fine face. Congratulations. Let's end this segment on Phil's fine face. <laughs> Congratulations, Phil, on 40 years of operation here. They celebrate today, gang, with free pizza. Thank you. Oh, the one and only. That's amazing. And they cook it 12 hours? That's the crazy. Sauce? And the sauce is the boss, according to Daniel. Okay, thanks. Hey, speaking of food, Drew is out and about this morning at his favorite pizza place in Portland. And we are talking about none other than Escape from New York Pizza on Northwest 23rd today. They're celebrating 40 years of business. Drew, I hope you're getting a chance to get some bites of pizza in, you know, between our live hits here. <laughs> You know, I find, I find it's rude to eat before your friends. So I know you haven't had your pizza yet. I have not had my pizza yet. But soon, my thought is soon, we will eat pizza together, gang. Um, I'm pretty sure we were here the morning of Escape from New York's 25th anniversary. I know we were here the morning of their 30th and their 35th. This morning, we're here because it's their 40th anniversary. And real quickly, I'll let our viewers know that they are celebrating today by giving away a free slice of pizza and a free small drink to every single customer starting when they open at 11.30 in the morning and not finishing until they close up the shop at 11 o'clock tonight. Those are the normal hours, 11.30 to 11 p.m. every single day of the week. And today is going to be a good day because of that free pizza. There will also be music and some karaoke along the way. Perhaps you'll even have a chance to meet the owner. There he is this morning, Phil Geffner. <sighs> And the crowd goes wild. <sighs> Is that a kiss for me? Kiss, yeah. Oh, a kiss from Phil kiss this morning. Uh, I, I love the wisdom that you've shared with us over the years. Here's another question for you. I'm curious. I know when you opened up in 1983, you had the shop across from the Galleria, the old Galleria in downtown Portland. Yes. And you were sort of forced to open up this second shop on Northwest yes. 23rd because you knew that building was going to be torn down. Yes. So now you just have still the one shop on Northwest 23rd. Yeah. Did you ever think about expanding and becoming a pizza superpower? If not, why? No, because you have one store, you have 20 people working for you. 
two stores, you got 40. Then it's like you're dealing with just like spreadsheets and lawyers and accountants and, and that's not a job anymore. It's like being a lawyer, an accountant. It's a terrible uh, situation on the ground. So this way, you just work in the pizza store, enjoy your company, enjoy the customers, enjoy the people working for you, and that's a life. Did you say customers? Did you say customers, Phil? Did I say that? Did you say that? I think so. This works out nicely. Look who we have here. This is Mark. Hi, Mark Cronquist here, fourth generation Oregonian, and God, 40 year customer for Phil. Now yeah. you say that you're the first ever customer? As far as, besides maybe his, his uh, partner and uh, his sister, yeah. I, I worked at the Galleria across the street, and he was, uh, I, I got hooked on Escape from New York Pizza because it's delicious. And at the time we had something called Organ Grinder and Shakey's, which had a player's piano and uh, American uh, cheese put on, you know, balloon bread. Um, <laughs> and I'd become hooked on New York style pizza on a trip. My aunt and uncle lived in the Upper East Side. And, you know, you couldn't get that stuff anywhere but here. So, yeah, Phil's been making great pizza for decades now. Let me ask you this, and we are out of time. I'm told we have to go, but I know you could talk days on end about Phil. If I could ask you to describe Phil in one word, I know that's tough, but think about Phil. One word to describe that man, what would it be? Yeah. Oh, you'll come. Awesome. Up. Yeah, okay, you got Brilliant. it. Brilliant. He's awesome. Well, where'd you go, Phil? We're talking oh, about I'm talking you. talking about the guy. We just called you awesome. I, 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 oh, wait a minute. Did you get distracted? I'll show uh, you. What. Here's uh, why he's distracted, yeah, Brenda, yeah, Christine, and Rod. Yeah. Our editor, Jay Lundenberg, just showed up. What's up, Jay? Now you're on TV. Now you're on TV. <laughs> How much do you want to be on TV right now? Not at all. <laughs> Jay's been an editor at the station for about as long as Escape from New York Pizza has been around. Not that long. He's here to pick up the pizza that you're going to eat during our 645 segment. Would you like me to kiss Jay for no, you, or no. do you want to do that no. yourself? Go ahead and kiss him. Do it. <laughs> do it. Hey. Uh, there you go. All right. This is Jay. That's his kiss. We'll have more with Phil and his longtime customers coming up at 645. You're still on TV, by the way. They are amazing. You guys You're still are on. awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. <laughs>Okay, we're talking about free pizza and we're looking off camera because we have pizza off camera and it Why really Why is it off camera? I know. Casey, come in, Casey, come in with the ca with the pizza because from New York. right here Escape, oh my gosh. 40th anniversary, this is unreal. Yes, and our ears perked up ever <laughs> since this morning. Oh, we mentioned it. Are huge. Look at this, okay. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Here, like, Rod. Okay. Drew? Drew, you're gonna have to help us out because we're trying to eat this pizza because we now have this Don't drop it. free pizza in studio. <laughs> 40th anniversary of Escape from New York Pizza. Drew, you've been live out there all morning long. Dang. Uh, Ooh. Oh, is, am I giving right that to you? Oh, you said. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to surprise you with that pizza, I thought, but the surprise is, is present on this Monday morning. <laughs> we can't there you wait, go, gang. Drew. You enjoy your pizza. <laughs> we should probably explain to our audience when they can get their pizza. So real quickly, Escape from New York Pizza, what I have said for years is the best pizza in the city of Portland, is celebrating its 40th anniversary today with free slices and a free small drink for every single customer that shows up during regular business hours today. And those are many hours, 11.30 this morning until 11 o'clock tonight. All day long, they celebrate with the pizza so you can be a part of that celebration. And with that in mind, let's bring in some special guests on this Monday morning. Uh, we start with the pizza. Thank you for being here, pizza. It's all about you on this Monday. <laughs> How about the owner of Escape from New York? Mr. Phil Geffner is with me on this Monday. Yes, and the crowd again goes wild for Phil. And that crowd includes a man who says he was the first customer ever at Escape from New York. He's Mr. Mark. Mark. And then a man who's old as the pizza shop itself. He's 40-year-old Daniel. He's been eating here since he was a kid. Wow. All right. What a <laughs> hey, uh, Phil, yeah. I have a question for you. Wow. Many questions throughout the morning. Wow. How about this one? Uh, Some of your employees have been with you since basically the beginning. I mean, you literally have staff inside that shop every day that have been with you 25 years, 30 years, in some cases more than 30 years. How the heck did you keep people around in a pizza shop working for you for that many years? What do you think the secret is? Well, it's got to work for everyone, not just for me. It's got to work for everyone. And I don't have to do a lot of dumb stuff like come here at 5 in the morning and talk about pizza. I, I tell them that, they go, forget about it. We're not doing that. So, you know, you got to have it work both ways, and it has for the most part. So. That's what I've yeah. always appreciated about you is your honesty, 
you, you shoot from the hip, you're a straight shooter. And I did say last week, I said, hey, Phil, how about getting a couple, like maybe one or two of your longtime employees to come out on Monday and join us to talk about why they love working here and why they love you. <laughs> and you said, Drew, that ain't happening. They're not getting up. <laughs> but these two gentlemen said we will get up and talk about why we love the pizza. So let's start with Mr. Mark, and then we'll go to Daniel. Uh, Mark, you said you were the first customer ever in 1983. Uh, that is that is what Phil says too, I think. Okay. We're not gonna, we don't have our verified team working on this. We're yeah, going yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> and what is it about the pizza that you love so much? Well, I, I got hooked on New York pizza in New York City uh, on the Upper East Side. And it, 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 nothing like it existed in Oregon at the time. I happened to be working across the street at the Galleria and it's like, what the hell? New York pizza in Oregon? Who is this crazy dude? There he is. There's the crazy dude himself. Here's how we're going to wrap up this segment. Today, everyone can get a free slice of pizza. But gentlemen, Mark, Daniel, you can earn your slice right now by correctly answering a 1983 Portland, Oregon trivia question. I start with you. Mark, who was the governor of Oregon in 1983? Uh, what would you say, Vicatia? I would say Vicatia. Go get your slice of pizza. He's a winner. And then I slide next to you to ask you, Mr. Daniel. The Blazers had a draft pick in 1983, a first round pick. Do you remember who it was even though you were born in 1983? How about Clyde the Glide Drexler? It was Clyde the Glide wow. Drexler. Get your free <laughs> pizza right. slice. Yeah. Clyde the Glide gang was drafted by the Blazers in 1983. What a fantastic year it was. What a memory he had. The Glide came to town yeah. and pizza by the slice came yeah. to town. And that Phoenix remembering. Should we end this hey, on a on. hug or should we just kind of look away from each other? How about a little butt slap or a butt pinch? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. Rodney, Christine, and Brenda. Whoop! Wow. I didn't see that. We're coming. sending it back I did to not you. See that coming Way either. To keep it weird. <laughs> Cheers. Awesome.